You should know that if you are going to your second year, you should start planning for internships. You should start looking for companies right from your first semester. From January, you can start applying for internships that you will do in summer. I'm saying this because I didn't know that I was supposed to, you know, look for internships and apply for them that early, you know, I just really delayed me. By the time I started applying, so many companies had closed their applications. A course like Computer Engineering is quite competitive and so many students are applying from different universities all over Turkey. I mean, being in Ankara, a lot of students want to do their internships in Ankara companies. That means the competition is high as early as February, March, April. These big companies' applications have closed. So I ended up applying through LinkedIn and I had to ask my teachers that what if I don't get an internship? I mean, as an international student here, there are some internships you cannot apply for. So that makes it quite difficult, especially some big companies, they don't take international students. Why some do, but it's still really competitive. <laughs> because maybe they just want to take one out of 10 people that would apply or so. I had to ask her that, what do I do? So she told me that if I don't get an internship, I can discuss with any lecturer in the department and we can do research internship together. Most of these lecturers have their own research paper, some of them PhD and they have some research they're actually pursuing. So you can help them with that and it will be counted as research internship and they would fill your documents for you and all. But I didn't want research internship. I really did not want that. So I just kept on applying. I kept on asking people as well. So while I advise you to apply properly, have a very good CV, even if you don't have a lot of things to put in there, you need to actually start taking courses and trying to get certificates so that you have some things to add. So at some point I had to stop applying for computer engineering internships. I got called for like maybe just one or two interviews and um, eventually I got one through a very good friend of mine who recommended me to someone and I went for the interview and I got the internship. So uh, while I advise you to apply a lot, I also advise you to actually ask your friends, ask your classmates, ask people. Probably they can recommend you to somebody in their companies, especially the startup companies and they would be able to help you. Like they know that oh, you definitely need to do internship if they are understanding they look at your character and see if you're actually willing to learn and then they can actually help you regardless of your cv so i think this is very important to actually ask people it's good to apply it's definitely worth it you gain experience and you improve your cv but at the same time don't forget to ask the right people i want to cross again so guys i think i'll have to pause the video for now because I won't be able to take videos in the metro so i'll continue once i step out of the metro it's just one stop yeah so i'll be right back okay so i'm just stepping out of the metro station oh the elevator is not working oh let me show you guys this beautiful mosque can you see the mosque down there anyways right now i'm in ulus a very busy area has a lot of historic house stories. Anyways, that's for another day. I'm going to talk about dormitories next. Yes, and the monthly stipend. As a scholarship student, we no longer get breakfast and dinner as we used to in my previous dormitory during the semesters. So in summer, you have to buy everything yourself and a lot of things have increased in prices. So I'm going to talk a bit about the dormitory I stay in. And um, finally, we're going to discuss uh, working in summer. Yeah, I think that's all.